But where there is corruption, it is principally a matter of collusion between private persons and state actors. Clearly, a lot of the corruption that concerns us as a nation involves huge amounts of money, particularly in the state procurement system. With regard to corruption, however, there is one area where all ordinary citizens can make a difference on a day-to-day -day basis. This is in the area of what is referred to as petty corruption or retail corruption. For example, what about thinking twice next time before bribing a traffic officer? What about that health inspector or environmental inspector? We, co we could also hit calls such as those made by Corruption Watch and the Minister for Public Service and Administration to do something about corruption. But can citizens do more than finger pointing? If all we do as civil society is finger pointing, how different are we from the group of six that died from the cold within? There are some examples on, on what we can do beyond finger pointing. Um, examples can be found in organizations such as Corruption Watch, a civil society initiative that is slowly but surely entrenching itself as a serious corruption buster. The efforts of Lead South Africa and Crime Line are also worth noting. These organizations are doing more than finger pointing regarding their concerns on matters such as crime and corruption. They are mobilizing citizens to take responsibility for being part of the solution.